Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Now, take a look at this story about ISIS. ISIS calls for attacks in Ber Berlin and Brussels to paralyze Europe in the wake of Brexit chaos. All right, so ISIS likes Brexit. Uh, well, that's the first thing we've ever had in common. But... Here's my point. I'm going to scroll down to this. ISIS has expressed its delight for the expected negative economic impact in the United Kingdom and the European Union following the British referendum call for attacks in Berlin and Brussels to paralyze Europe. A jihadi telegram, an encrypted messaging service popular with militants, praised economic chaos that came in the wake of EU referendum and followers to strike in the heart of mainland Europe, according to terror threat monitor site. I haven't looked that uh, up. UK military chiefs have warned this is a serious and direct threat to holiday resorts across Europe from groups like ISIS. Now, here's my question. How is it that an enemy gets to put out press releases? That's essentially what this is. They're putting out a press release, right? This doesn't make any sense folks. Uh, Germany and Japan didn't get to do this. Germany didn't put out press re releases, neither did Japan. We were at war with them. I realize, you know, obviously technology has changed, but my God, how can we call them an enemy? We have an attorney general who says that she loves them. We have a president who blows up sand dunes around him and doesn't want to take him out. And now, and they even get to put out press releases, which is essentially what this is. Well, let's look at this logically. Let me give you an example from World War II. We decoded what G the Japanese were doing, um, we decode what they're doing when they're getting ready to invade Port Moresby. And so we sent Task Force 17 carriers down to try to stop it. Now, what if we put out a press release? Oh, Japan is preparing to invade Port Moresby. And we're sending our carriers uh, down there. That just won't fly. Obviously not. But if you, you know, you release, you say, oh, Japan is planning to invade Port Moresby. What does that do? That uh, lets the enemy know you know what they're doing. And that would have screwed things up a lot worse than they got screwed up. And as a matter of fact, the battle that I'm referencing, if anybody knows their history, is the Battle of the Coral Sea. And we lost the uh, Lexington during that battle. But it could have been much worse. Uh, you don't put out press releases like that. Now, maybe they're propagandizing, propagandizing, I don't know. But you don't treat the enemy like, oh, gee, uh, we're going to tell the world what your intentions are. That's not how you fight a war. This is stupid. We're not at war with these people. If we're putting out press releases from, we're not at war with them.
I don't care how much you libs protest. Obama's been blowing up sand dunes, not terrorists. We could have picked them. They've had convoys miles long, and we could have blown them bastards right to kingdom come. Right into the infernal regions, and we didn't. Just, you know, lines of Toyota trucks and stuff lined up for miles and miles. They would have been easy targets for an Aegis cruiser and a helicopter. Let me give you a little clue. You fire some tomahawks, you blow up the convoy, and you send in the helicopter to finish the job. Nope, we won't do that. So don't give me this crap that we're at war with them. We're not. They're putting out press releases. On Western Press, and then we're told we're at war with them. Sorry, can't buy it. I don't know what's going on. This is insanity, folks. This is just pure insanity. We have an attorney general tells them she loves them and she isn't removed from office. And now, they, and of course, they you know, give out press releases and we even send them arms, which is on record. Excuse me, I want to puke. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.